Hi guys, today I would like to discuss SAFI Note 1 audit consideration for certain items which require special consideration. In other words, it's a high risky spot. We have to give a special consideration for certain items. What are the those items? Number one, inventory. Number two, litigations and claim. Third is the sediment reporting. And let me comes with inventories. We have learned trading profit and loss accounts in our uh, graduation level and plus two levels. We have seen a figure of closing stock for an example 5 lakh. What is the impact of closing stock? It will inflate to that extent gross profit, net profit. Suppose actually the 5 lakh gross profit management manipulated as 50 lakh gross profit. What will be the impact? Profit will inflate. Gross profit will be inflated to that extent. It's just a fictitious figure. Just adding one zero. Net profit will be reflected. And the user's hands will burn if they act upon that profitability positions. How an auditor comes to know that actually 50 lakh profit closing stock is there or 5 lakh closing stock is there how auditor will comes to know whether there is any supporting bills is available if i purchase an asset there is a purchase bill which support asset has been purchased if an item of goods has been purchased we have goods we have the purchase invoices from the parties Goods received not. Every purchases will be documented. But what about closing stock? Actually, closing stock is unsold goods during a particular point of time. So what supporting documents will be available to cross-check? I want to check the genuinity of closing stock. I have to rely upon the information provided by the management. So I am relying on management information. I am just first steps to this direction is I am going to check the internal controls whether it is good or bad. That is the first step with respect to the inventory. How they are safeguarding the inventory because it is susceptible for theft, pilferages, damages or we have learned. So. If I am happy and okay with the internal control with respect to inventories, my step number two, taking the printout of stock register. We have seen FIFO method and LIFO method. How the stocks will be reflected and accounted. Quantity will be there. Rate will be there. Quantity rate multiplied. We will get values. 5 lakh. 5 lakh uh, closing stock in my stock register. I want to know the existence, whether this 5 lakh uh, closing stock is in existence. How I will understand the existence of closing stock? Only through, only through the inspection of closing stock. I have to march. I am going to walk the go-downs of the clients. It's the biggest go-downs consisting of lot of items. It's impractical for me to do the actual physical count. What I'm going to do, the primary duty to take the values, quantities, is lies with the management. I'm just observing how management is taking the physical counts finally all counts are ready i'm just going to test check many many items are there taking one item certain items making marks on my stock register i'm also observing everything just doing the test counts actual stock is for like 50000 shortage of stock is 50000 so there not exist of the values the 
actual positions I am going to note down. This is through. This can be done only through the physical verification of closing stock. Next step. Which date closing stocks we are going to take? It is the end of the financial year normally 31st March. That day process I have just mentioned. There are some reasons stock taking may go some other date. For an example 5th April only the clients and myself is able to attend the physical verification of closing stock. 5th April ka. I need 31st March ka closing stock. How I will arrive at from 5th April say 31st March ka closing stock. How I will arrive? Just taking the intervening transaction. Transaction from the date of 1st April to 5th April, whatever items purchased, whatever items has been sold, I am taking note of that and making some adjustments and arriving back and going back and arriving at the closing stock. And I am happy the figure of 5 lakh is matched with my stock register. This is another situation in practical closing stock on that date closing date itself then the third step I have a client who has an operations on Kanyakumari the south part of India and another unit is located at Kashmir the head of India I want to consolidate both place considering the traveling cost if I travel to Kashmir and taking the stock would have extra expenses as far as the company is concerned. So what I will do? I have to depends on another chartered accountant of Kashmir. I have to depends on his report. Same qualified chartered accountant who will follow the same procedure and I have to depends on his reports. Another point. Nowadays, nowadays, most of the people are started the service of warehousing services. Shop will be small, only display items will be kept. Remaining items will be kept in their, their warehouse. My stocks, all stocks are in my warehouse, which is under the control of third party. What are the procedures I should follow in that case? If possible, I will go myself and I will do the physical verifications as usual because it's my clients. Otherwise, service auditors, that warehouse keeper have their auditors. Then he will have their records, how much stock has been comes, how much stock has been gone. Service auditors report we can rely upon. Through that way, we are collecting the evidence. Any manipulations happens in closing stock will burn our hands. So we are giving special consideration. 